Anyways, my faithful moonbeams. Uh, unlike my other video, uh, in Massacre of the Valley Wind, where I left off was Sandra was saving the giant Gorgon and Dis, that is what I'm going to be calling them, not Ohms, because that makes me think of Ohm as in meditating. They are Gorgons. And her name is Sandra, as far Sandra, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, her name is Princess Sandra, and this is a Gorgon. So And the name of the movie is Warriors of the Wind, as far as I'm concerned. The thing I left out was the fact that Princess Sandra did not see the um, did not see did not have a dream about her dad killing the baby Gorgon like she does in this version. However, uh, she does, as I left off, the acid lake, the zip line, her, her getting her foot soaked in the acid, shooting the, shooting at the, shooting at Asbel's people, that happens in Warriors of the Wind. Uh, the sun seems to have um, moved since my last video. That should help the glare. Uh, but anyways, uh, Princess Sandra uh, zip lines to save the baby Gorgon, gets her foot soaked, shoots at Asbel's people. Um, gets shot up into the air, but the, the whole tank scene with the other princess and her second in command, that happens, and where's the wind, um, the Gorgons, uh, stampeding over the valley, everyone going up into the hills, that happens, and even uh, the old lady crying and asking the children what happened, what they see after Princess Sandra gets thrown up into the air and lands, because they're all like, Princess Sandra's dead, and she's all crying, and she's like, tell me what you see, and they're like, Princess Sandra is dancing on the field of... A golden field, and she's dressed in blue. And the and the old lady is all like, "Oh well, the she's like it's come true. The legend on the tapestry that she has it's come true." And so it all happens in Warriors of the Wind as well. And, um, and the little, and, uh, as well as cut is that they don't show what happens afterwards with the rebuilding of the valley and everything. Uh, but they do, the, it fades to black and you hear, 
la 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 with a bunch of chimes so you hear the famous la 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 that song i love that song my sister says i get that uh wrong and i don't think so And there goes St. Luke's at, uh, must be 7 o'clock. <coughs> there goes my clock. So it must be 7. Or, uh, 1900 if you're in a different... If you're in Australia or South Africa or wherever. Yes, I did go by military time here. My watch is at my watch is set at military time. Even though I live in America. I did go by the twenty four o'clock. I do know how to read a 24 o'clock. I prefer the 24 o'clock over the 12 hour clock that we use here in, a, in the US. But uh, anyways, so they use the famous theme song and then they play the and then they show a single sprout shooting out of the mask to show new life coming. They show new life. And uh, that's the end of Where's the Wind is the mask with the little tree sprouting out of her mask and um, I hope everyone had a safe and happy uh, 4th of July and uh, Warriors of the Wind was my first Miyazaki film first film that introduced me to Miyazaki. So I do love the first, I do love Warriors of the Wind. Even though Miyazaki doesn't like it or uh, anyone at Studio Ghibli, even though those guys don't like Warriors of the Wind, I happen to love that movie. I have to love anything that is anime, pretty much. Even Akira. I can't get my hands on it. So. That's... That's pretty much it for this video, I guess.